Basically, it's a result you did not expect. Some may define risk as the chance of losing money. How do you define risk? Yeah, well, there, there are certainly many technical definitions of risk. I think for most people intuitively, it can be expressed as an outcome that is very different from what one expected. And so it's really deviation from expectation. How has risk changed in recent years? Are there new risks to consider? Well, I think what's really changed for people is that the return expectations are coming down and risk really is not changing. You know, from a quantitative perspective, what we say is that you know, expected volatility or expected deviation around the returns is more or less constant. But the expected return in a low economic growth environment with low capital market returns, it means that the risk you have to take to get the same level of return is now uncomfortably high. And that's what's really changing. Well, thinking about that, how should investors view risk today and what should they do differently? Well, without doubt, the first step towards risk management, because for us it's risk management, not risk avoidance, and they're two very different things, is that you absolutely need to diversify. Uh, this risk universe that we have is fairly thorough and fairly broad. Take advantage of it. You know, it's an old adage and it rings true today, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Most people who put all their eggs in one basket end up being disappointed. And understanding that, looking for that lottery ticket towards wealth, it just doesn't work out most of the time. Part of what we're, we've been talking about in particular is really understanding unintended risk, how risks creep up in your portfolio over time. Are you taking a valuation risk? Unwittingly, have you end up owning a lot of expensive stocks? Have you unwittingly end up having a high exposure to the technology sector or the financial services sector? Do you have a bet against a deflationary environment? That is, you don't have any uh, long maturity bonds, and so you're really vulnerable to a low interest rate environment. Really be thoughtful about what risks are accumulating in your portfolio over time and make sure you manage them uh, very effectively.